Welcome to the Trade Adjustment Assistance Workers Benefit Orientation. Trade Adjustment Assistance Reauthorization Act is a federal program that assists U.S. workers who have lost their employment due to foreign trade. This program provides services to the affected workers, an opportunity to obtain new skills, credential, resources, and support that may be necessary to become reemployed. To be eligible for TAA services, the worker must have a qualifying separation with the TAA certified company that is within the eligibility dates of the TAA certification. In some cases, there will be workers that may have future documented separation dates and may be eligible for classroom training and employer-based training prior to the layoff. TAA offers a variety of benefits and services to support TAA certified workers in their search for reemployment. These services include TRA, training, assistance with healthcare premium costs, RTAA, employment and case management services, job search and relocation allowance. The eight case management services that are provided are the following comprehensive assessments of skill levels and service needs, development of an individual employment plan to identify goals and objectives, information on available training and counseling, how to apply for financial aid, short-term pre-vocational services, such as development of learning skills, communication skills, and interviewing skills, individual career counseling, provision of employment statistics relating to relevant market areas, information relating to the availability of support services. The allowable types of training in TAA are classroom training, on-the-job training, customized training, apprenticeship programs, post-secondary education, prerequisite education, and remedial education. Training may be approved on a full or part-time basis but to receive TRA eligibility, full-time basis is required. Before any type of enrollment into training, eligibility is required and must be determined and approved by West Michigan Works. The three types of employer-based trainings are on-the-job training, customized training, and registered apprenticeship. On-the-job training is a hands-on method of teaching the skills, knowledge, and competencies needed for employees to perform a specific job within the workplace. An OJT contract must be in place prior to the first day of the new employment. The TAA program funds 50% of your wages up to 104 weeks in an approved OJT. Customized training is a training that is designed to meet the special requirements of an employer that may also include a group of employees, which is conducted with a commitment by the employer to employ an individual with the successful completion of the training. The TAA program funds 50% of classroom training component up to 130 weeks while in an approved customized training. Registered Apprenticeships is a program of the United States Department of Labor that connects job seekers looking to learn new skills with employers looking for qualified workers. The TAA program funds 100% of training for up to 130 weeks and covers the following, classroom instruction, tools, uniforms, equipment, and books that are required of the apprenticeship. Classroom training can be college or vocational courses prerequisite training approvable if required for classroom training program. Remedial training can be approved as well alone or as part of a classroom training program. The TAA program covers 100% of tuition, fees, books, supplies, and equipment that is necessary to be successful with completing the approved classroom training. While in a TAA approved training, there are benchmark requirements that will be completed at least every 60 days for the entire duration of training. The benchmark reviews will be monitored by West Michigan Works. The review will indicate that the job seeker is maintaining satisfactory academic standing and is on schedule to complete training within the time frame identified in the approved training plan. In any time, one or both benchmarks are failed to be met, it could result in a training modification to the training program 
or removal from the training program. To receive an approval on a training, it is required that all of the following six training approval criteria are met. No suitable employment is available. You would benefit from appropriate training. There is a reasonable expectation of employment following completion of training. Training is reasonably available. You are qualified to undertake and complete such training. And training is available at a reasonable cost. Trade Readjustment Allowances, TRA, is available to continue to provide income support while you are participating in full-time training. The amount of each weekly TRA payment is based on the weekly unemployment UI benefit amount you already have received. You must have been entitled to receive UI benefits before you may receive TRA, and you must have exhausted your UI entitlement. In order to receive TRA payments, an individual must be enrolled in a TAA approved training or have an approved training waiver with the result of entering a TAA approved training. There is a deadline for TRA, which is as follows, 26 weeks from certification or 26 weeks from layoff, the greater of the two, and be either in training or have a training waiver. Keep in mind only one training is allowed per person per certification, regardless which training you enter. Training is a lifetime benefit, which means you can use this benefit now or later, but keep in mind eligibility and TRA timelines apply. This monetary benefit covers necessary expenses incurred while seeking employment outside your normal commuting area if employment in a sustainable job where you are likely to remain employed and earn family sustaining wages is not available in your area. Job search allowances reimburse 90% of costs of allowable travel and sustenance up to a maximum of $1,250. An application for a job search allowance must be submitted before your job search begins and within 365 days of your layoff or certification, whichever is later, or within 182 days after the conclusion of training. This monetary benefit reimburses you for approval expenses when you must move to a new area to earn family sustaining wages and employment outside of your normal commuting area. Relocation allowances may include 90% of the reasonable and necessary expenses involved in moving you, your family, and household goods to a new area following your reemployment outside of your normal commute. In addition, you may receive a lump sum payment equal to three times your average weekly wage up to a maximum payment of $1,250. You must submit an application for a relocation allowance before your relocation begins and within 425 days of your layoff or certification, whichever is later, or within 182 days after the conclusion of training. Eligible individuals can receive a tax credit to offset the cost of their monthly health insurance premiums for 2020 if they have qualified health coverage for the HCTC. A qualified health plan offered through a health insurance marketplace is not a qualified coverage for the HCTC. HCTC is available each month. You are TRA or RTA eligible. You are either collecting TRA payments, unemployment payments, or RTAA payments. This tax credit is subject to change after 2020. Reemployment Trade Adjustment Assistance, also known as RTAA, is a wage subsidy for workers age 50 or over who are reemployed at an annual wage of $50,000 or less. The wage subsidy has a cap of two years or $10,000, whichever comes first, that is available to reemployed older workers and covers a portion of the difference between a worker's new wage and their old wage. To utilize this benefit, the worker must complete a RTAA application at West Michigan Works and submit the last full pay stub from the TAA certified company and new employment verification. 
Income support is available in the form of weekly cash payments to workers who are enrolled in full-time training courses and have exhausted their unemployment insurance. The three types of TRA payments are basic TRA, additional TRA, and completion TRA. Basic TRA benefits can be paid if the adversely affected worker is enrolled in training or qualifies for and receives a waiver from training. Additional TRA is only paid if the adversely affected worker is participating in an approved TAA training program. Completion TRA may be paid to the adversely affected worker who has exhausted basic TRA and additional TRA and are still enrolled in a TAA approved training program. Depending on how many weeks you have used in your unemployment and or basic TRA payments, and when you enter TAA approved training, you may not have TRA payments for the full amount of your training. Every unemployment benefit year, a new claim must be completed regardless if you are receiving unemployment or TRA payments. If you are receiving TRA payments while in TAA training full-time and earn wages over the TRA payment amount, only the difference of the two will be used in the calculation of reduction of that week's TRA payment. If you have any questions regarding your unemployment and or TRA payments or RTAA payments, you are to contact the TRA unit at 1-866-500-0016. Please contact the West Michigan Works location where you would like to gain more information and registering to utilize your TAA benefits from.